Hi, I am Anupam Adhikari. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please watch my lecture video. Please like and share this video. And please subscribe this channel. Today, I shall discuss the problem of point of contact lecture related to shear force and bending moment diagram for engineering students. In my previous lecture, we have seen that the bending moment is negative in cantilever beam. Let us take cantilever beam, span L, an intensity of loading W per unit length. If we draw the shear force diagram, then we get a straight line and if we draw the bending moment diagram then we get a parabolic equation negative side. In simple supported beam, if we draw the shear force diagram, then WL by 2 and here also W L by 2 here you see that the shear force changes its sign we know that where the shear force changes its sign having the zero shear, the bending moment will be maximum there. If we draw the bending moment diagram, then we get this type of picture and the maximum bending moment at this point, it is W L square by 8. In overhanging beam, it is the combination of simply supported beam and cantilever beam. So, in an overhanging beam, there will be a point for bending moment diagram. There will be point where the bending moment will change sign. This portion is cantilever. The cantilever this portion is cantilever for the bending moment diagram in this portion is negative. And this portion is simple supported. So the bending moment diagram with this type of and the combination of this will be this type. Here we get a point where bending moment changes its sign. This point is known as point of contraflexure. Let us take a problem.
and a water hanging beam. Carries UDL with intensity of loading 4.5 kN per meter. And the span between two simply supported is 3 meter and overhanging portion is 1 meter. Draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. First reaction calculation. Let RA and RB be the reaction at A and B. So we can write that RA plus RB is equal to 4.5 into 3 plus 1 kilo newton that is equal to 18 kilo newton and taking moment about a then minus rb into 3 then the reaction tends to rotate the beam in anticlockwise direction so it is negative and the total udl which acts the cg of the beam tends to bend the beam in clockwise direction so it is positive and 4.5 3 plus 1 it is the total load and into distance 4 divided by 2 that is equal to 0 and from here we can find the rb by calculator is equal to 12 kilo newton then ra is equal to 18 minus 12 that is equal to 6 kilo newton Then shear force calculation. Shear force calculation. Uh, R A equal to six kilo newton, and R B is equal to twelve kilo newton. Shear force at C, this point is C, shear force at C, as there is no load, is equal to 0. Shear force just right of B, that is equal to 4.5. Into one, and this is right down, so it is positive 4.5 kilo newton. Shear force just left of the 4.5. Then write up 12 minus 12 
So minus 7.5 kilo newton and shear force at A that is equal to left up that is left up write down positive RA plus 6 kilo newton. Then if we draw the picture shear force diagram then we get 0 C shear force just right of B 4.5 that is the 4.5 left of B minus 7.5 7.5 and plus 6 then we get this type of picture plus minus plus it is noted that in this place shear force changes its sign having zero shear let us this point is o we have to find out the distance of zero shear let the distance of zero shear from the point a is x then shear force at O that is is equal to left up plus 6 and this portion 4.5 minus 4.5 into x that is left out and that is is equal to 0 so 6 minus 4.5 x equal to 0 then x is equal to 6 divided by 4.5 that is equal to 1.33 meter this value is 1.33 meter next bending moment calculation Bending moment at C is equal to 0 as there is no distance and bending moment at A that is also 0 as there is no distance. The bending moment at B, bending moment at B that is, is equal to in this point the car tries to bend hoggy and this is negative 4.5 into 1 into 1 by 2 that is kilo newton meter and by calculation we can get that bending moment at B 2 point minus 2.25 kilo newton meter. So if we draw the bending moment diagram at this point 2.25 kilo newton as the shear force is straight line it will be a parabolic curve now maximum bending moment at o 
that is is equal to if we take the left side then we get r a into x and that is sad so it is positive and if we consider the udl then it deflects downward like hogging it is negative and this is 4.5 into x into x by 2 let's put the value of r a 6 into 1.33 minus 4.5 into 1.33 into 1.33 divided by 2 and by calculation we get that is a 4 kilonewton meter and that is positive 4 kilonewton and when you moment at a the zero so if we draw this diagram then we get this type of diagram and this is the point it is known as point of contra flexure then the distance of point of contra flexure is y from a and this point is suppose this point is P the bending moment at P is equal to if we consider the left side then we get minus 6 into y plus 4.5 into y into y by 2 so minus 6y plus 4.5 y square by 2 that is equal to 0 or 2.25 y square minus 6y is equal to 0 if we take y common then 2.25 y minus 6 is equal to 0 either either y equal to 0 or 2.25 y minus 6 equal to 0 but here y not equal to 0 as the distance cannot be negative so 2.25 y minus 6 equal to 0 then y is equal to 6 divided by 2.25 and this is equal to 2.67 meter and the distance of point of contra flexure is 2.67 it should be noted that the calculation of zero shear can be find out by the similar triangle method and this will be x divided by 6 that is equal to 3 minus x this distance 3 minus x divided by 7.5 as this distance is 7.5 and this distance is 6 and from here x will be find out and this value is 1.33 so this point of contra flexure can be obtained from the overhanging beam. Thank you.